With the demand for student housing on the rise and colleges across the country failing to meet these demands, we asked a member of the student union to see what steps they are taking to resolve this issue. The start of the year would have been the biggest issue the student union had um, from trying to obtain accommodation to trying to get digs accommodation, um, trying to sustain the likes of the Hazelwood issue, there was new management trying to filter out if they were legit, if they weren't, because um, at the same time when trying to help students you want to ensure that you're getting them good accommodation and you're not screwing them over or like throwing them into somewhere that's not safe. You know, USI launched a uh, national uh, student accommodation with the government um, and that's again a strategic plan to look down towards the future for pricing guidelines and for new student accommodation. Um, but that's, that's about all I know at the moment. We asked students of DCU what came to their minds when we said student accommodation. First word that comes to my head is struggle. Uh, I, I applied for student accommodation the postgraduate accommodation here in DCU and uh, didn't get it in the end, unfortunately, but uh, I don't know, like it's a bit of a lottery. If you're coming in with people like, let's say I haven't got them signed in, they just kick them out like, <laughs> like sleeping rough. Like. Well, I, I live at home, but I know people that do live in the city centre and they have to pay over 500 a month for their accommodation and they have to pay for the bus into DCU in and out every day. We spoke to a student from a different college who's staying in his friend's DCU accommodation. My friend from school got accommodation in DCU and I can't afford to move out on my own. He just said, oh, you can just, you can stay with me. I don't even, I don't attend this college, like, but I've, I've been living here and I've been chipping in with rent and we've been, you know, splitting the cost of food and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's been working out fine. <laughs> With student numbers expected to increase dramatically over the next few years, students will continue to have to find alternative means of accommodation. Lee McGarren, DCU TV News.